the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, call Halayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders at Great Millstone who always rule well. To the hopeful elect that's scattered abroad, that's continuously prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom of America and bringing this good news of the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall awam. The book of Michael 2 and 10 again, arise ye and depart. All right. And this is for you so-called Negroes on down to you so-called Mexicans, man. The scripture said, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. All right. Which is America, man. All right. You you think that uh, you're so-called living it up. OK. You got uh, Israelite tribes that struggle just to get to America. But when they get here, they see that America is just a, a big facade, man. All right. For this is not your rest, man. All right. And this is the brothers in the know. All right. Because, hey, we're going through hell every day, man. Ezekiel 9 and 4. All right. Set a mark upon the foreheads of those who sigh and cry. For the abominations done in the midst thereof. And that's us, man. That lets you know that you are part of the hopeful elect, man. All right? Something that we pray that we were part of, the hopeful elect. Because we know that this is not our rest, man. All right? You're the first fired, last hired. Okay? Nothing seems to never go right. Okay? Everything you you you, you so-called try to do, all right? It, it goes down the drain. All right? But but those are the curses, man. And we must know these things, man. And, and we and we must take these things, all right, as they said in the world, what, with a coke and a smile, man. All right, reading on in, in uh, Michael 2 and 10, because it is polluted. And that's right, man. Chemtrails in the air, all right, fluorinated water, okay, fake water, uh, uh, GMO foods, okay. These, these uh, 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 unrighteous decrees that Esau right. Okay, which really goes against the Hebrew Israelites. All right, uh, uh, running wild with with these uh, faggot demons. Okay, and it reads, "It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction." All right, and if you uh, uh, keep conforming to America, all right, you will get destroyed with America, man. All right, with that sore destruction. And what's that sore destruction? All right, by the way of thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, but but the the men are in the know, man. Are vexed every day. All right. And that's what we're trying to do, so like him. That we're that that is what we're trying to do, man. Arise and depart, because we know this is not our rest, man. All right, this is the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, so like him, Ecclesiasticus, all right, also known as Sirach. All right, chapter two, and uh, I'm gonna start at verse three. Cling, cleave unto him, and that him is who our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, and depart not away that thou may be increased at thy last end, all right? And this is the last end, which is which is the latter days, which is the end time, all right? And that's why we're cleaving unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man, okay? Because what the disciples told Yahweh Shah, okay, we, we have given up all, man. We don't we don't have nothing else. We, we've, we've given up this world, man, all right? And and, and, and we, we got to be willing to suffer for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah because this is not our rest, man, all right? Verse 4. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. All right. So I know the Akim is is, is uh, going through hard times on a physical level, a spiritual level. All right. A residential level, a financial level. All right. But we got to take it cheerfully, man. All right. I always go to the book of Job. Okay. Chapter two, man. What did he What did he tell his wicked woman, man, who turned out to be just, just a woman like the rest? Okay. What then? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High and not evil? Okay, so you're going to praise the Most High when everything's going good, but you're not going to praise him when everything's going bad? That's how you got to take this place, man. You got to take it cheerfully, cheerfully, all right? Reading it again, all right, Sirach 2 and 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And we are in that lower state, all right? You go and go back to that word patient, okay? To what? To suffer, man. Okay? So we see we, we must suffer, man, and take it cheerfully. All right? Because we are in that lower state, man. We are at the bottom of the totem pole, man. 
All right. And I know that Akeem uh, is, is, is vexed every day, frustrated. All right. Ready to put hands on somebody physically. But hey, we must stay in the spirit, man. And we must uh, resort back to these scriptures, man, which is our comfort, man. These scriptures. All right. Like I say, I know the Akim is going through hell. All right. But guess what? We are under the curses, man. We must once again resort back to the scriptures, man. Because I know this is a, a, a frustrating journey, man. But guess what? It's all it's going to be all worth it, man. And it is worth it. All right. This is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter 12. And uh, verse eight, for this thing, I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And this Paul, man, having that thorn in his side, man, Paul went through hell, man. All right. He was shipwrecked. All right. He, he was in prison twice under the Romans. OK, there's just a few things, man. And also, Paul was what? Plagued with, with a thorn in his side, man, which the scripture does not say. All right. But we can speculate a lot of things, man. All right. But he went to the Lord three times to ask him to take this thorn out of his side. But the Lord wouldn't do it, man. And this is why. Uh, 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. And that's why, that's what we got to, uh, we got to know these things, man. How do we know these things? To, to resort back to the scriptures regardless of what we go through, man. All right. Most gladly. Therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities? And that's what we got to do, man. We got to glory. We got to take it cheerfully, man. All right. And all these uh, 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 things that are going on through our day to day life, man, that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me. Verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities. And that's what we got to do. Resort back to the scriptures. The scriptures will guide us in, in, that, in that straight and narrow path, man. We got to take pleasure in these infirmities, man. Have integrity, man, like Job, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecution, in distress, all right? Distress is for Hamashiach's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong, man, because guess what, man? This is just a little, it's just a little, little smidget of, of what's to come, man, if you are a true man of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, man, all right? You're going to be faced with persecution, all right? Might famine, all right? Revelation 2 and 10 tells us what? Uh, uh, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, all right, that you may be tried 10 days, okay? And it's roughly paraphrasing, man. But it said, fear none of these things, okay? It also said, fear none of these things, man, because guess what? If, if, if you hold fast and, and to death, man, you're going to get a crown of life, and that's roughly paraphrasing, man, all right? So the scriptures say what? 2 Corinthians 12 and 10, therefore I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecutions, and distresses for Hamashiach's sake, only for Hamashiach's sake, man. For when I am weak, then I am made strong, man. Perfect example of, of the man, of the blind man. When the disciples asked him, all right, was this man born blind because of his, his, his sins or, 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 his, or his past sins or his father's sins, roughly paraphrasing, all right? But he was, he was what? The point is he was blind just for that day, all right, just, just for that precise day. For a Mashiach to show his power, man, to show his glory, man. And and this is why we're going through what we're going through here, here in America, man. All right. For our Lord and our Savior, all right, to come uh, uh, show up and, 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 and show out, man, here, here in America, man. All right. This is uh, the book of uh, St. Matthew's chapter 6. All right. And, uh, and first, I'm going to go to verse 11. And it reads. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at ten, and and this is this is this is the faith and the patience of the saints, man. Matthew six and ten, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And this is the day that we're waiting on. And this is a scripture that proves that the kingdom of heaven what shall be upon earth, man. All right, we, we're waiting for that day. Uh, in um, First Thessalonians four and uh, seventeen, man, to 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 meet the Most High in the sky, man. And we pray that we're part of that number. All right, Matthew 6 and 11, give us this day our daily bread. And that's all we can ask for, man. All right, throughout all the uh, the, the letdowns and, and, and upsets and letdowns that, that the hopefully let goes through, all right, we, we got we to gotta praise in these infirmities, man. And I know the Akim is going through hell out there, all right? This is uh, St. Matthew 6 and um, I'm going to start at 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat, 
or what shall we drink, or with where shall we be clothed? Matthew 6 and 32, For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things, all right? So all your day-to-day -day necessities, man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh all right? Know that you need these things, all right? Whether you, you're struggling physically, all right? Mentally, all right? Spiritually, okay? Uh, financially, residential, it don't matter, man. All right? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, know, if, uh, know, know what you need, man, all right? Even the things that you don't even know you need, all right? The most high know that you need them. All right, but but out of all those things, this is what we need to stay focused on, man. At all times, man. And and when you're going through your hard times, hey, and even when you're not going through your hard times, man, we must always resort back to the scriptures, man. All right, this this is this is that 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 straight and narrow path, man. Uh, roughly paraphrasing what this is our what S uh, stability of our times or, or stability of these times, man. These scriptures, man. This is how we're gonna be able to stand. All right, this is Matthew six and thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High. All right? That's what we need to be doing, man. Seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Uh, Proverbs 4 and 7 tells us what? Uh, with all thy getting, all right, get understanding, man. So with that being said, through the scriptures, all right, coming into this truth, man, we must know and must, first of all, understand that guess what? The Most High is balanced, man. All right? Take whatever is brought, so brought upon thee cheerfully, man. All right? We're going to suffer in, in this truth, man. All right? But we must have balance, man. All right? Because the most high is balanced. All right? And be thankful, you know. Uh, this is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse 10. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed by the destroyer. Verse 11. Now all these things happened unto them for examples and they are written for our ammunition upon whom the ends of the world are to come. So, right, that's, that's reincarnation, man. All right, and there's also Romans uh, 15 and 4, man. All right. So, and, and those are, these are strong examples, man, in the scriptures for us in these times, in these end times, man. All right. To show us what to do and what not to do or give, or give us examples of what to do and what not to do. All right. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 12, wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall, all right? And that's these scriptures, all right? Really taking heed of these scriptures, all right? And not faking the funk, okay? 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, there have no temptation taken you but such as is coming to man. So what's going on in your life? Okay, a two-third has it or sometimes even have it works, all right? But the most high is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. All right. So ye being in this truth, man, the most high. All right. We, we are friends of the most high, man. All right. Like I say, he's balanced. Okay. But that's a fine line to show who are true men of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The sufferings, the struggles, man. The mental struggles, the physical struggles. All right. The residential struggles. All right. But we'll... But will with the temptation also make a way to escape. See, that's the balance of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, That ye may be, that ye may be able to bear it. All right. And, you know, and that's it. You know, I hope you brothers been edified and also motivated, man. All right. Know the balance of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and coming into this truth, man, this is not that, that, uh, that uh, prosperity doctrine, man, that the church teaches you, man. All right. Uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 2 and 1. Uh, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, man. All right. And these things that we must understand. All right. Call halal, which is all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, who always rule well. All right. To the hopeful elect that's continuously prophesying the downfall of this wicked kingdom of America and bringing this good news of the coming of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear, Shalom.